So you are aware that last year State Bank, uh, we absorbed six banks, mm -hmm. five of which were of course our own associates, but uh, the another big merger of three banks, uh, which is uh, going on now, from 1st April they have become one bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the experience is good or the early signs are encouraging, so it may be expected that uh, another round of consolidation mm -hmm. may happen after the new government comes in. Or, or removal from government direct control, what, what impact could that have on the economy? No, they're not, uh, there is not going to be any dilution of the control of the government. Okay. Only thing is the consolidation, because it is felt that uh, we are 18 as of now in public sector banks and more or less doing the same thing. So the thinking has been for quite some time that there is a need for having larger and stronger public sector banks, but eventually maybe four or five of them apart from state banks. What are you seeing in how strong the demand for credit is at the moment? And what does it tell us about the broader economic cycle? So the economic growth of the credit numbers, as I said, that anywhere between 12 to 14 percent for most of the banks, so which is not a bad credit number. And again, the demand is, as I said, coming from the infrastructure sector. It is coming from the hydrocarbon sector, roads, renewable energy. There are many sectors, but if we talk about that any large ticket investment in the private manufacturing sector, that is something which has not happened. Does the RBI have room to cut rates faster in your view? Uh, if the inflation remains under control, mm -hmm. then maybe yes. And uh, uh, let us see, every second month there is a policy. And uh, uh, last time 25 basis point cut they had. And uh, the issue around transmission also. The State Bank of India at least have taken the lead. As we speak, from 1st May, our interest rates on uh, the overdrafts and the short-term loans, uh, they have been reduced by 25 basis point. And our, uh, we have introduced repo-linked lending rate, which is 8.25% effective first May. Talking a little politics now, which party do you think has the best vision for economic management? Uh, I won't go specific to the party, but I have a firm belief in the wisdom of the Indian electorate that they will choose a stable government. That is what my wish, expectation, and faith in Indian democracies. Do you feel that right now the business community needs continuity, for example, under Modi? Definitely, as I said, a stable government is what is the need of the hour. And uh, the last five years, there have been very significant reforms. At least three of these reforms I can mention, which is the GST, Real Estate Regulation Act, and the Bankruptcy Code. And whenever something new is done, there is a period of pain. So what I would call these five years, because such significant reforms have been introduced, so there is some negative impact in the first period. But coming five years, irrespective of who comes, they will reap the benefit of these reforms. And Indian economy will reap the benefit of these reforms. Maybe short-term pain for longer-term longer gain. Longer-term gain. And this is always true, that yes. you cannot have a long-term gain without undergoing a pay. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.